Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at the lookup function within Excel Now possibly the most popular type of lookup and reference function in Excel is the VLOOKUP function the ability to look vertically for something and return information about it that function has some key limitations to it despite it being the most popular one and one of the more glaring of them is the ability that it cannot look to the left to return information for what you have been looking for. So in our example on screen at the moment, I have the order ID of each of these products, each of these orders that have come in. And it's in column C. Um, maybe what I'm trying to do is search for one of them orders and return the name of the salesperson that took the order. Now this is something that VLOOKUP cannot do because if it's looking for the order via its order ID it would require to, to be looking to its left of that column to return the salesperson. That is not possible, it can only count to its right. Common alternative would be the use of the index and match functions being used together. Um, tutorials for that can be found at computergargard.com However, we're going to look at the lookup function, which has that ability as well. So over to our right hand side, I have the order ID in that I'd like to look for. That can be changed at any point by the user. It's a kind of like a little search box for an order. I want to return the name of the salesperson in cell K4. So I'm going to write the lookup function within there. So equals lookup opening bracket. So up it pops and is asking me for the information it needs for this lookup function to work. Now I want it to be quite dynamic, you know, looking to its left uh, to, to return the values that I want. So I'm going to go for the first option at the two that they provide there. So that we can give it a lookup value and then we can either give it the, the kind of lookup column and the result column, for instance the vector there, or we can just give it a basic you know, look for this within here, which will just, if I remember rightly, is a standard idea of kind of looking down the first column, like the lookup, and returning from the end column, assuming that must be what you're trying to, to achieve there. Uh, so we're going for that first option. So the lookup value is what are you trying to find? What do you want to look for? We want to look for whatever is in cell J4, 10282. I want to look for that order ID comma look up vector where shall I look for that order ID I'm going to click on column C say so look down column C that is where you'll find the order ID you can look for it in there that will be awesome comma result vector which they're saying is an optional argument here with them square brackets this is imperative for what we want though saying what would you like me to return when I find that what in that row are you interested in seeing we want to return whatever's in column B, which is salesperson. So I'm going to select column B there, close in bracket. So look for J4 within column C and return column B. When I press enter, I get the name Peacock for 10282, which if I scroll down this list, there we go, 10282, to its left, Peacock. Fantastic. I could hopefully now in turn put 10282. 920, I'm sure that's in here somewhere. Turns Peacock again, what are the chances? Um, what did I say? 10920? Bad choice of number, Alan. Here we go. Peacock, it is Peacock. One below is Pacino. Let's use that, just an example. I really wasn't expecting Peacock again. Number one, Pacino. Fantastic. So here we have a more flexible lookup function, which happens to be called lookup, uh, as an alternative to the, the far more popular VLOOKUP. That is not to do VLOOKUP a disservice, but these various functions do different jobs and they achieve them in different ways. So it depends what you're doing and why, as to what would suit your needs. This is a demonstration of what lookup can do for you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will find it useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergargar.com.
www.thebeatsmusic.com.